Hi, today I'm going to review for you the Fidget Air Gallery 30 inch freestanding gas range. The model I have is FGGF3058RW. I purchased it from Home Depot. It was, I had done a whole lot of research and wasn't sure which stove I wanted. Um, and so I did a lot of research online and read a lot of reviews talked to a lot of people and this was the stove that had the most features for um, the most reasonable amount of money. I thought it was a good value and it seemed to have a lot of good reviews. So since it was on the list of stoves that Home Depot carried, I drove down there expecting to see it, but unfortunately they don't have it. So what we had to do was actually um, go online in the store and order it. And it was back ordered. I think I ordered it mid-June and I got it the end of July. Um, so I'm going to kind of walk you through the features. And you can see in this shot that it has a continuous three-piece grate on the front. It's black matte cast iron and the centerpiece is the griddle, which um, comes out. It's quite heavy, by the way. It comes out, and there's a center rack, which is much lighter, that goes in. Um, you can see that the shape of the center burner is oblong, and except for the griddle. Um, maybe keep things warm. I don't know what other uses would be for that. Um, on the burners, the caps come off, so they're all sealed burners, as all new stoves are, so you can, for easy cleaning. Um, the one thing I noticed, uh, and it took me a couple of times to notice, is that the burners are not in the center. When I would put a pan, I'd put it in the center, and then I would notice that only one side would get hot, and you really have to put the pan a little bit over towards the right. And I don't have a pan out to show you. So the pans are slightly off skew, um, and you have to make sure that it's centered over the burner to have even heat distribution. The controls, as you can see, I'm trying to make sure that we get no light reflection. There's a lot of controls on it. Um, of course you have your clock and you have a delay start, bake time, um, you can time, uh, you can use it for a regular timer or time cook, self clean, set clock, add a minute, bake, it has a probe, we'll talk about that, broil, convect, Convect, convert, keep warm, pizza, quick preheat, and over here is your timing, your start and cancel buttons. Um, there are four, well, I have five. I don't actually have the center burner BTUs, but the left front burner, this one here, is 9,500 BTUs. The Left rear is 12,000 BTUs. Right front is 18,000 18, BTUs. And the back one, which is small, is 5,000 BTUs. And when I look at the controls here, I thought, oh yeah, okay. So you see this one, the 1,200 left rear, burner is the quick boil burner. It really does boil very, very quickly. Then you have your oven control and over here are your other two burner controls and you can see again we have quick boil on the front right and the small burner in the back is a simmer burner. Um, and I believe that's the top of the stove. Uh, so then we want to talk about the oven a little bit. And the oven, 
As you can see, the window is quite large. That being said, oh, I don't want to get my reflection there. That being said, I don't know. I guess you can see things in there. Not sure. Um, and that's the way the oven looks from with the door closed. Oh yeah, the air vent is up here on the stove for the oven. And there are some air vents here on the door. Now when I open it, you can see the light automatically comes on. They describe this color as blue slate, I believe. But there's another company, um, and I can't remember which one it is, that really makes an all a bright blue stove. It's actually pretty. And that's what I actually, I thought I actually was going to get a blue stove, but it's actually, I don't know, in my opinion, it's kind of dark gray, gunmetal. I don't know. Um, there's a door lock, and I actually don't know where the door lock is, so I'll have to look that up in the instructions. I've not, as you can see, had a need to clean it yet, so I've not used the self-clean configurations. It comes with three racks, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six um, rack positions in the back. You can see that there's the convection fan. And one of the reasons why I purchased this is because it's true convection. And I'll talk to you about that in a little while. If, it, if you don't know the difference between buying a convection oven and true convection, um, I'll explain that to you. And that was one of the reasons why I picked this out. Um, Again, the oven is self-cleaning. It has a hidden bake element. You can see that you cannot see the element on the bottom, but the broiler you can see on top. It um, self-cleans. You can set the self-cleaning to two, three, or four hours. It has a temperature probe. Again, one of the features that really intrigued me to buy this. And past years when I baked a turkey or something you can get you can go over to uh, Bed Bath & Beyond or a similar store and buy uh, a temperature probe that you put in your turkey and it kind of um, has an electronic clock with a magnet that sticks to the outside of the oven and it kind of goes off when it hits the right temperature this the probe just goes right in here and you stick it into um, your piece of meat, and then you set the probe temperature right there. You hit probe and you set the temperature that you want it to um, cook to, and when it reaches that temperature, it, the oven automatically turns off. And I've used this, uh, we don't eat a lot of meat here, but I've used it on chicken. Have to be honest the chicken was the best chicken that I have ever had cooked at any home it was so moist and that was because it it stopped cooking the second it hit that temperature so that's a feature that I love on this um, stove uh, the depth of the stove inside the oven is 19 and 8 inches and it's 18 and 5 8 inches high. The interior light is incandescent. The interior width is 24 and 3 8 inch. I'm looking at my notes here so I don't forget to tell you something. It has a one touch keep warm button. So after it bakes, let me see if here's the keep warm button here. So you can keep the after it's cooked, say company's not there or you're not ready to serve, you could um, just hit, I'm not sure if that's in focus or not, the keep warm button. There we go. Um, it also has a peach, pizza, excuse me, pizza button. And what you do is if you press pizza, you have a choice between frozen or if you hit it twice, it's fresh. So you can go from frozen to fresh. Um, okay. 
And then when you want to bake something on convection, you just hit convect and set the time. Now what happens, and you hit start, and you will see this red light come on. And it takes approximately, I think the book says six minutes. Hang on, let me reach over for the book here. Because the first time I used it, I, I had the um, installer stay until I was sure that the convection worked and the fan didn't go on. And it takes, let's see, the convect fan will not start until six minutes after setting the convect, convect bake or convect roast feature. If the oven door is open when a convect feature is active, the convect fan will stop rotating until the door is closed. Now, what is different between a normal convect, I'm leaving this here in case we do, I don't know how long this video is going to last, but if it lasts another six minutes, you will actually see a picture of a fan and you see the fan rotating here. So it actually shows you when the fan is actually on. Um, this convection oven does not just have a fan. True convection, actually, I don't want to open the door <laughs> because that will throw this off. But true convection actually has heating elements behind the fan. So you not only have the heat from within the oven, it's blowing more heat in from the back. This was one of the only stoves that I found that had true convection in this price range. This was under $1,000. The MSRP, I think, is a little over $1,000. I think I paid $849 something, and then I had to pay for... I had a gas stove, but still, you have to get a new kit, so I had to pay for the new kit. Um, so with the kit and delivery and everything, it came to, I think, like just $900 and maybe $50, something like that. Um, it also has, what's really cool, it has a quick preheat button here. So if I wanted to, I could have hit quick quick excuse me, quick preheat, got the oven up to temperature, and then turned it off and went back to convect, bake, and put that on, and the oven would have come up to temperature a lot quicker. Okay, here's the lock button here. I've never used it, so I didn't know where it was. Um, let's see, it has one touch self-cleaning, and I guess all you do, I'm guessing all you do Again, I've not used this feature, had a need to use this feature. I use the stove more than I use the oven. Is you'd probably just hit the self um, clean button and then you probably choose how long you want it to clean for. Let me see if I missed anything. I think I, it does not come with a broiler pan, but I already had one, which I had rarely used. Um, the, in the oven, the bake, it, um, bake BTU is 18,000. It's called an even baking technology. Broil is, is 13,500 BTUs. Broiling system is a variable 400 degrees Fahrenheit to 550 degrees. You can actually set the broiler temperature, which is kind of unusual. I've never had a stove where you could, it was either on or off, that you could actually um, vary the broiling uh, temperature itself. So, is there, oh yes, it has a drawer underneath here where you can store pans. There's no broiler underneath. The broiler is actually in the oven. And this is actually where I store the, um, the actual griddle fits quite nicely in there. And then I put my broiling pan on top and I'm uh, all set with that. And let's see, we're up to 218 degrees. I, oh, maybe I should have, I should have set the temperature low um, so that we could get to temperature quicker for convect. Let me see if I can cancel convect. 
Oh, I guess the lowest it will do is 300 on convect, but we're at 239 now. Um, and I'm, <clears throat> it will get to convect pretty quick. And I hear, I hear the, and we can't, you can see me, but you cannot see, and I can't open the door. Because if I open that door, it might delay the oven coming up to temperature and the convect coming on. So maybe I'll put this on pause and then come back when that reaches temperature. Okay, we're back and you can see now that the little fan is spinning, which means that the convection fan in the back of the oven is now on. And there's a red circle, which means the heating element behind the convection fan is now on. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it off because we're done with that, showing you that. There's some other things I wanted to show you. I had talked earlier about the grates and the burners being a little bit offset. You'll see that my pan would be where you would normally place it. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually in the center of the grate. But when you look underneath, it's not. So you have to push the pan a little bit over. And you'll see it's more to the right side of the grate than the left if you want even cooking. The other thing, let's see, I had a few other things I wanted to tell you about. The oven is factory set to automatically turn itself off after six hours. Now in the book it shows you how to override that. If you need to override it, you can. And also we didn't, I don't know that I talked about the convect convert option here. And what this allows you to do is not have to figure out the difference in recipes um, from a normal bake time to a convection bake time. You just put the normal bake time and you hit convect convert and it will convert it for you. Um, let's see. Also, you can, there's a delayed start. You can program it to um, start to bake at a certain time and shut off at a certain time. Uh, you could delay the start. I'm not sure that I actually know. Maybe you have something frozen, you leave it in the oven and then you want it to defrost all day and then start to cook later on. I guess kind of like a you used to do in a crock pot. Um, the timer is wonderful. When the timer goes off, in my other stove or range, it would go off once and if you didn't hear the buzzer, you would know. This repeats um, to keep, it's loud, it keeps reminding you that the time is up so you won't forget. I use it for cooking, but I use it for a lot of other things too because it's loud and I hear it from the other rooms and it keeps repeating itself, um, kind of like a snooze thing. And on the, the on the keep warm option, you can also, it, you can program it. Once something is cooked, you can come over and just hit keep warm and put how long you want it to keep warm, time it. It will keep something warm for up to three hours and automatically turn off, but you could also, program it to delay start cook at a certain time and then keep warm so you can do a whole lot of things with program programming a stove and um, I think that's about everything I uh, would I buy this stove again this range again yes in a heartbeat in a heartbeat I had a Jenny range before this and um, I would have to pay probably three times or more what I paid for this range uh, to get the comparable features. And I'm not even sure that they had the comparable features that this one did. So I'm quite happy with it. Um, I'm happy with Home Depot. It was on back order. There was no store that I could find it in. Um, so I took a chance and I'm happy I did. I just also wanted to speak to the one of the things that I didn't want was this um, exhaust here and the reason is because the thing that most often fails on 
um, on appliances that have, you know, electronic circuit boards is that they fail and heat exposure is one of the things that make them fail. And I had read where other brands, not Frigidaire, when the um, exhaust was near the circuit board, it, it would short it out or overheat it. But um, this is cool as a button. So they're directing, this little flange here is directing the heat away from that. And I'm glad about that. My Gen Air, by the way, was 20 years old. And the thing that went on it was we had a power surge from a storm and it blew the main circuit board and I would have kept it because I loved it, but we couldn't find the part. So we replaced the stove. Again, it's Frigidaire model. Let me get the model number again for you. Frigidaire model, where are you? Here we go, Frigidaire model. It's a gallery 30 inch freestanding gas range. Model FGGF3058RW. The MSRP when I purchased it was $1,049 and I paid with tax less than that installed delivered to my home. Thank you for watching this video. I have videos on um, several other appliances, on TVs, on toys. I also have videos on some of the things that I sell on eBay. So maybe you might want to look at some of my other videos. Hope you all have a good day and take care.